was basically the only way I could learn how to produce electronic music. The other option was just like books and a library. And they were all about like 70s, 80s recording guitars and vocals, which is kind of boring. Welcome to ice skating with John Sign. For the past four or five days, I was looking out of my window, out of the studio, onto this huge ice area. It's like leftover water that, ooh, I heard a crack, another one. I think it's frozen entirely, it should. Every single day, I just wanted to ice skate on it. Never really had the time because I had some really busy days, but there's actually something it would be even more fun than just ice skating and it involves I love these boxes Ooh. we got here another microphone audio technica AT4040 if a box has like ah oh, I love it absolutely love it this one is the AT5047. Nice, heavy, solid. Can't wait to fully test it, but the testing of all of the microphones is something for another day, because today is a music making day, 100%. All done making music. I don't know why, but like I removed the monitor and it's, it feels so good. It, I don't know. It's 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 just a hint. You can't even really tell in the measurements before and after. It doesn't really show, but it just it feels so good. It's like not wearing underpants. It just frees up like ah good, really good. Nice session, successful. And I had two calls today. I I always never film these calls because I think they're they're boring. Usually like half an hour to an hour. The first one was actually with someone from Fader Pro. He used to work for Future Music Mac. They want to do like a masterclass video with me. I agreed. So probably in three months, there will be a full three, four hour long me making a song from scratch available. Very interesting. I've never done it before. Kind of a little excited because I, I, I usually edit a lot. So if I screw up, I can correct it in editing. It will be just like one flow, one go no edit. And also very interesting talking to him about Future Music Mag at the very beginning. I told him how I always went to the main train station. There was like a, a place where you could buy magazines from abroad and they always only had like three to five copies of Future Music Mag and I was always like the, the beginning of the month I was there and buying it and watching these tutorials, DVDs of like people making electronic dance music. Absolutely loved it. Was was cool talking to someone that kind of shaped my very beginning of music making and this was basically the only way I could learn how to produce electronic music. The other option was just like books and a library and they were all about like 70s, 80s recording guitars and vocals, which is kind of boring. And the second call was with Jesco, his uh, fellow YouTube room acoustic guy. And it's kind of funny because I just like yesterday I made the video about my room acoustics and I checked out one of his videos to compare and, and see what other studios, like what their frequency response is like. And exactly on that day where it really said, he writes me and like, we, we talked a little, I, I sent him my, my file, my RumiQ wizard file. He went through it and, and told me it's really good. I'm really happy. He liked what he saw right there, explained me a little more because there are like some frequencies and he said, I will probably not be able to get rid of them because it's the floor bounce, which you can't prevent. And the desk is bouncing a little, but he gave me a few tips that I can try out to maybe improve it even further, or at least know and understand why it's there. It could be also the other speaker reacting. Anyways, uh, very interesting. If you want to know more about room acoustic, like specifically, and how a room sounds like tr without treatment, with treatment, explained all in English, I'll link down below his YouTube channel. It's 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 good. And it's kind of a funny coincidence that he just like reached out exactly in this moment 
So go subscribe. He helped me at least for like 20 minutes explaining me stuff for free, which is really nice. Whew, there is a lot more, a lot more. Today was busy, 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 busy. Vanessa's already writing in caps letters. Where are you? I need to hurry up. Back at home, the, the later it is, the, the, the worse the haircut looks. Can't wait to get, to get my hair cut again. But in Germany, they just announced that the lockdown will be extended almost an entire month, which is, is weird, but again, do the best out of the situation. For me, it was like doing a course, a HOFA course, where you can learn music production, very detailed from beginner to pro, mixing, mastering, everything. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. There was also partially stuff I already knew, but it's nice to kind of revisit techniques that you forgot or don't always implement and have examples for it again, videos, text, files, graphs, analyzing my songs. So overall, very positive. And it's fairly priced, especially right now, they have like a, a special where it's reduced in price by a lot, only for a couple more days. So if you're interested, go check it out. First link in the description. And yeah, just watching a couple more videos, learning more, educating myself to make even better music and also feedback because right now here in Germany it's very late in America it's what is it like noon afternoon and I will have like a call with Salvo she's the one that sang on my song Secrets we're working on a follow-up and just giving her some guidance discussing the topic of the song maybe she will start singing a little I will suggest some stuff and then this way kind of collaborate we're, we're also actually using a new plugin that makes collaboration a lot easier, which is really interesting. Let me know if you want to know more about it, testing it out. Looks very, very promising. Mm -hmm.